Here are 10 Python coding habits you need to ditch. Number one, not using globals and non-local. So if you have a complicated function structure where you are using local and global variables, but not specifying it inside your function, it could become very hard to read your function. Instead, go ahead and specify that you are using a non-local variable called local val and a global variable called prefix. This makes your function more readable, but does not change the behavior of the function at all. Number two, not using F strings. If you are manually concatenating the strings using the plus operator, Python has a much simpler way to do this called F strings. Using F strings, you can easily construct large strings from smaller variables, and you don't need to cast any non-string values inside it. Number three, not using context managers. You open a file, you write something, you close it. Seems simple enough until an error happens while writing and your file never gets closed. Instead, use a context manager so that your file automatically closes when the con once the context block ends. This is not just important for files, but also important for database connections and other IO tasks. Number four, not using divmod. Divmod is a very underrated operator in Python. If your function uses modulo operator, chances are you need the quotient of the operation as well. And divmod is a neat way of getting both the quotient and the remainder using a single operation. Number four, not using property decorators. So you have a class which holds some data and performs some calculations on it. All is well until some newbie assigns a bad value to one of the class attributes and everything starts breaking. Instead, Python allows you to keep attributes private and write getters and setters on them using the add property decorator. Now you can add logic to your setters to make sure only the right kind of values are accepted. Number five, not using data classes. Working with structured data, but indexing using integers can make it almost impossible to understand the logic. Instead, use built-in data classes and index using meaningful names. It even allows for type hinting, which can make it easier to read and consume. If you have something which is more complicated and in a nested structure, then no need to worry Data classes allow nesting as well, making it possible to represent any kind of data structure. Number six, not using perf counter. If you are using time.time .time to time, it's not meant for timing. Instead of using time.time, .time, use time.perf counter, which uses the highest available resolution of duration and is platform independent. Number seven, importing everything. Importing everything with a star is not just inefficient as it litters your namespace, but also dangerous as you may import two things with the same name, but different behavior. Instead, grab exactly what you need from each module and keep your namespace clean. Number eight, not using map and filter. If you are filtering on an iterable based on a condition, to make a new iterable, Python's inbuilt filter function allows you to do this in a way which is more concise and easy to read. Same goes for the inbuilt map function, which allows you to apply a function on the iterable without creating a new list and costly append operations. Only catch is that map and filter return a generator object, which you can loop over but if you absolutely need it to be a list, you can always typecast it. Number 10, not using yield. If you have a function which works on a list to return a new list, it is much better to yield values from it instead of returning a list. This is computationally efficient as you don't have to perform appends or create a new list. Yield, like map and filter, also returns a generator, but you can always typecast it if you definitely need a list. 